Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the VHPL code for an up counter or a down counter. So in the previous video we have started this is 7493 counter where it counts the number of clock pulses in a sequential incremental manner which starts with four zeros and goes up to four ones because each and every clock pulse changes the state of the flip flops so that the resultant data in the register also varies. So this is the internal uh, architecture, uh, this is the uh, integrated circuit of the 7493 and these are the clock pulses so whenever the zero is given all are zeros. So when a clock pulse started counting one by one, one by one it will be incremented and whenever the 16th clock pulse occurred then the counter will get reset and this is the logic diagram for that. Now. <coughs> Our task is VHDL code, VHDL code for <coughs> four bit down counter, <coughs> four bit down or up counter. Okay, so first any library, any VHDL code starts with the library. I triple E use I triple E dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all use I triple E dot std underscore logic underscore unsigned dot all <coughs> unsigned dot all entity entity so simply counter is port of clock reset input direction std underscore logic std underscore logic so clock and reset are always important uh, two signals in the uh, in sequential logic circuit design okay so clock reset when they are in input mode and count count is nothing but out std underscore logic underscore logic underscore vector of 3 down to 0 so now as the entity part is completed end counter <coughs> now architecture behavior of architecture behavior law what we have taken entity part counter counter is so in the architecture part we are going to write a program or a behavioral uh, of the hardware module which is specified in the ports with entities okay Next, begin. Process of so the pins are clock, comma, reset. So, in the process, we are declaring variables, variable ENT unsigned three down to zero process again should begin. So begin if reset is equal to one 
if it is a if it is at equal to 1 then then so what is output signal count so count is equal to others implies 0 next else if rising edge of clock then count colon equal to because count is declared as variable count colon is equal to cnt minus 1 count colon equal to count minus 1 see here this is the complete logic this particular line can change it to count plus 1 when it go for when we go for increment okay so here see for up counter for up counter count is equal to count plus 1 this is for up counter end of that here end if end if counter less than equal to std underscore logic underscore vector of count okay so end process and behavioral okay so the entire count occurs just whenever a rising clock pulse occurs so the count is incremented by one as i said okay so here if the clock is equal to clock minus one or count is equal to count minus one then we can call it as an uh, down counter because the data is shifted by one bit by bit bit by bit back okay where is in the forward direction so up up counter we have count is equal to count plus one count is equal to count plus one that plus indicates it is an up counter and minus indicates it is a down counter and once this is done so counter is equal to counter should be assigned with the counter is equal to yesterday underscore logic underscore of counter okay so and process and behavioral in the next video, I will explain about the decade counter. Very, very important. Decade counter IC is 7490. And IC number is 7490. It counts the number of clock pulses. Number of clock pulses 0 to 9. Decade counter. Decade counter is nothing but we have to take 10 clock pulses. 0 to 9. 0 to 9. 10 clock pulses. Okay. That IC number is 7490. That I will explain. Okay. Thank you.